there have been claims that the Turing test has been passed already, um, starting well, you know, some time ago, more recently in the last few years. Uh, there was a case where someone got a computer to simulate a, a, a foreign boy of about 12 or 14 years of age or something. But they put these constraints on it, right? They made him foreign or made it foreign. So um, its its level of English didn't need to be that high. Um, and it was constrained to be a boy, so you wouldn't expect to have in-depth conversations about a lot of um, you know difficult subjects like politics or science or whatever. Uh, and in, in that case, there were some people that couldn't detect that they were talking to a computer in that case. And that was claimed then to be passing the Turing test, but you know most people would say, no, it didn't. So we haven't passed the Turing test. Is it still a thing? I think we realize now that a, a disembodied intelligence like is implied in the Turing test is not really the way forward for creating real AI or artificial general intelligence. Um, it's going to be more complicated than that. It won't just be a, a computer sitting in a box that's able to communicate through a, a keyboard or a screen. Um, for real intelligence, you're going to need to have other things involved, interaction with the real world and interaction with real objects so that it has a, it, the basis for its experience is similar to ours. So we have actually something to, to ground our conversations in. All these things seem to be quite important.